do you think about Cheryl Cole being booted off the US X Factor? Do you think that Americans would have problems understanding her accent? They can understand very well. The Geordies, I think they're the, like most clear. Not saying most, but they're very, I think they're very clearly spoken. It's just like everyone, most Geordies like accentuate the vowels, like A's and they, like say E and like that. And I think it's just, I think people can understand Geordies really well. You can't take the Geordie, you can't take you can take them away from Newcastle, but you can't take the Geordie out of their accent. It's just not, it's not going to happen. You know what I mean? I've, I've lived here, I'm 21 now, and I, I could, I could probably, I could live in America for the rest of my life, and the accent wouldn't go. It's already there. It's, it's built into you. But like, I think the Americans, the Americans struggle to understand any English people. So just because she's a Geordie, I think it's, it's not going to make a difference. If they can understand Simon Cowell, they can understand her. That's the way I look at it. Can you think of any choice Geordie phrases that the Americans might have had trouble understanding? And how we. And Howie, they don't understand what Howie means. Obviously, it means come on, but they wouldn't understand that. Um, like if she said I, that means yes. That Americans won't understand. But yeah, they might think she's Scottish or something. You never know. It's because of our accent, isn't it? I read it on the thing. I'd, it's ridiculous. I, because we we not we we understand the Americans all right. So I don't see why it's such a big problem for them to understand. I don't think she's got that much of a well, accent. Well, they haven't really given her much of a chance, have they? How long has it been? A week. Um, I think it's a bit harsh to be honest. I mean, there's quite a lot of Americans deep south. I don't know if she could understand them, you know. But um, yeah, I think it's a bit harsh to be honest. But I'm sure she'll she'll get over it. If she used Geordie slang, but if she just spoke proper English, then no, not really. What sort of things would she would Geordie slang into? <laughs> we are, man. <laughs> Stuff like that, like. Yeah, we're still not proper English. We're not social backward or anything like that. Still can pronounce words. I suppose it might be kind of hard for them to like understand like what she's saying, I guess. Um, so probably able to relate more to Nicole Scherzinger since she's American. I can't even understand myself speak, so that makes sense, doesn't it? No, he's a walkie ticket, a walkie, walkie ticket. Just means uh, just trying to pull your leg all the time, I suppose, like you know? I like the Geordie accent and I think you should never be ashamed of uh, your accent or where you come from and uh, I've been to New York and I've been to Florida and they've never had any trouble understanding me, in fact they all was very nice so I can't understand it. Why do people have to go to America, why don't they just stay here, you know? Well we say pet a lot and we say like after our sentences, um, maybe they don't understand that, I don't know. I don't know because obviously we love her hair but she's not going to go down very well in America I don't think. Just because she's British and like they don't get it, like they don't get our whole like sense of humour, they don't get, you know, obviously the accent's going to be a massive issue for them as well. I think that's why they're just not going to get her, that's why. <laughs> Gun and Yem to see me mum. How is that? <laughs> oh, I tell you what, I'll take War Cheryl down the big market and I'll show her a proper Geordie good time. I've got, what time are you going in Yem? What does that mean? What time are you going home? <laughs> You shall have a fishy on a little dishy. You shall have a fishy on a little dishy. When the boat comes in, dance for your granny, sing to your mommy. You shall have a fishy on a little dishy. When the boat comes in. 